Hello YouTube, this is Braden with Midwest Websites, your solution for business website design and search engine optimization. And today we're going to go over how to change a setting in your WordPress admin dashboard that you might not realize actually needs to be changed depending on how you did your WordPress installation with your web host. To kind of illustrate what I'm talking about with the administrative email section, we're going to start by doing a brand new WordPress setup in a GoDaddy cPanel. I'm just going to set up under example.midwestwebsites.com. We're not going to do anything fancy with an SSL certificate or anything like that. Set up our data center. We'll do a WordPress website. It'll ask us for our username and password. For our username, we'll just do example site. For our password, we're just going to make one up here that meets the criteria. And away we go. Setup usually doesn't take very long with GoDaddy's cPanel platforms. It's usually pretty painless. But it didn't really ask us a lot about the settings that we wanted to use. All it asked us for was a username and a password. Now, while this is great for getting started with a website, some of the things that it didn't ask us for might create some problems for us later on. The admin email that I mentioned a little bit ago is going to be what we're going to focus on today. And it actually is important for things like comment moderation or new users or even some contact forms as to which email address forms you create for your website go to. And you might not realize there's a problem with it until you miss a bunch of emails from your clients. So we're going to go ahead and just open up another tab in the browser here. And we're going to go over to our WordPress admin dashboard for example.midwestwebsites.com. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Might take it a couple minutes for the files to show up in there and stop giving us this 404 error. That's perfectly fine. We're just going to periodically refresh the page until we get what we want. Usually doesn't take too long. usually being the operative term here. We'll give it a couple moments. And thanks to the magic of video editing, you have been spared waiting for DNS to propagate. So we're going to go ahead and log into this website using our new username and password. It's going to ask us if we want to go through a setup. We're going to go ahead and skip that. And we're going to be taking a look in our settings over here on the left at the general settings to find our administrative email. Now, this isn't an email address that I have, nor is it likely to be one that you have set up either. This is actually one that's been randomly generated by our web hosting server. This is a bit of a problem because we don't want to necessarily have our emails disappearing into the ether from this email address that doesn't really exist. So we're going to want to get this changed to one that we have access to. So in this case, we just delete out what's in the email address field and go to design at midwestwebsites.com for this one. Obviously, you would want to use your business email address instead of ours here. And once you've got that filled in, all you have to do is go down to the bottom of the page and save your changes. Once you do that, you're going to see that it's put the old email address back in, but the server is actually going to be sending you an email to confirm your email address change. All you have to do is basically wait for that email to show up in your inbox. It might take a few minutes depending upon the email load on your server, and then there will be a link for you to click on to confirm. You might be asked to sign back into your WordPress website, and then after that, your email change will go through. Now there is actually a second place where you can go in and change this and that's actually found in your WordPress database. 
I'm going to show you that as well, just in case something happens that keeps you from accessing this field to change it. Maybe your web host has it blocked out, or maybe you don't have access to your WordPress admin dashboard because of a plugin or theme issue. So we're going to jump over to our hosting and just go into the cPanel admin area. It's going to ask me to log in again, even though I literally just logged in. Give it a moment here to load. Or we'll close out and try and go in again. There we are. So we're going to go find our WordPress database. Since this is the only one that we have set up in here, we don't need to go find the actual name of the database for PHP My Admin. If you have multiple websites and you need to do this, you can actually find that information in your file manager. You're just going to be looking for this wp-config.php file, and if you go in and code edit it, you'll actually be able to see the name of your database if you have more than one to keep an eye out for, so that you know that you're editing the right one when you go in to update that administrator email. So we're going to jump back over to our cPanel admin area, and we're going to go into PHP My Admin. Your cPanel may look a little different, but most of them have a search feature, and almost all of them have access to PHP My Admin. Now, the administrator email field is actually going to be found in WP underscore options. Now, some hosts put in a, a customized prefix, or if you're on GoDaddy's managed WordPress platform, you might not have it look like WP underscore options. It might be a random string of letters and numbers with an underscore and then options. Generally speaking, this is going to be the only table that has options listed on it for your database. There are exceptions, usually with multi-sites, but most business owners don't use multi-sites, so it's not going to be a big issue for you. Just look for the one that ends in options so that you can get to this admin email area here. Usually it appears pretty early. In this case, it's just on the first page here. It's item 5. And we can just go in and either double-click this to open up the editor, or we can go in and edit here to go in and just make the change to our email address. And then we'll go ahead and hit the Go button at the bottom here to save our change. Nothing too tricky, and if we go back to our admin dashboard here and refresh the page, you'll see that it's taken effect over here as well without having to go in and do the email confirmation. And that's all there is to it. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at design at midwestwebsites.com. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Help get this information out to people who need it. Beyond that, have a great rest of the day.